Rescuers are searching for people still missing after a fire ripped through a hostel in Wellington, New Zealand. At least six people are confirmed dead. Authorities believe that the toll could rise as parts of the building remain inaccessible to firefighters. Now, officials described a once-in-a-decade event their worst nightmare. There will be a thorough review of this, as there is in these sorts of situations. There will be an opportunity to test whether or not, um, you know, this building was fully compliant with all of the rules that it needed to be compliant with. Now, the cause of the blaze is still unknown, but authorities say that the fire is being treated as suspicious. Our police say they will work with the fire and emergency officials to determine if it was deliberate. Um, we are working uh, tirelessly alongside our partners, alongside our other agencies, uh, to find the answers that we need. This requires an extensive scene examination, and as you can see, the building is large and the damage is extensive. It will be slow, it will be methodical, and it will be detailed to ensure uh, that we find the answers we need. Authorities say around 90 people were believed to be inside that four-storey loafer's lodge when the fire started. Many shift workers stay in the hostel, making it difficult to know the exact number. 52 people have been accounted for. The hostel passed a fire inspection in February and wasn't required to have sprinklers. Now, an official says that the blaze did not trigger the alarm. Several injuries have been reported, with some people jumping out of windows to escape. It was um, scary, you know, being, you know, first time I've been in a house fire, especially on the third floor, because, you know, you're thinking, fuck, how am I going to get down? But, you know, I made it out safely, but, yeah. I was still asleep, and um, someone outside rang me to get out. Uh, I didn't hear anyone knocking. I had just taken my tablets, because I've had pain, so that they probably knocked me out while I didn't hear anybody. I just grabbed my jacket and my and boots and ran out. Wellington's mayor says that the hostel was home to a mix of long and short-term residents. She says that the government is working on emergency housing and that the public can help by donating to a relief fund.